most of my projects would be partnerships. I would say very strongly that um, if you are going into community arts that you need to build partnerships. Say for example it's the prison, it's the you know, a corrections facility. So whoever asks you in, you've obviously got a relationship with the hierarchy of the institution. You have to then find out what they actually want you to do, you know, what's the outcome. So you have to have that really clear. But what will happen is, what their outcome is, and what the people that you're working with's outcome is, is like poles apart. So you have to find a way of sort of, um, you know, plain playground hotscotch to get to a middle ground and um, and to give everybody a voice, particularly the people that you're working really directly with. And most of my community arts projects have not been through an arts organisation funding. They have been funding from the sort of parent organisation that is sort of semi-responsible or they can see an outcome from a particular group. I guess what we've learned is that there's real strength in bringing in non-arts organisations into the work we do. So one example is the neighbourhood policing team, the libraries we've worked with, but also businesses and maybe um, parts of the community that we don't automatically connect with when we say community arts. When you're working with institutions and you're working with funding and you're working with community groups and you're an independent artist and you don't have a board and it, um, it's very tricky. Everybody has their own agendas, everybody has things that they need to have happen um, through their own protocols and their own processes. So it's, um, it's far more of a political navigation than I ever expected it to be. Maintaining relationships and working with different entities to realise a project is um, it's a job unto itself. That's all about kānohi ki te kānohi, or face to face, you know, fronting up, going and meeting the people. They'll tell you about someone else. Um, they'll tell you things that they won't necessarily tell you in an email. Um, so it's that those relationships are really important, and you find gold as well once you've put that time into developing the relationships. Aligning yourself with people who actually have a valid. Um, understanding of what you're going to do will actually educate you and help you to build your validity as well so that people really buy into what you're doing and know that it's not ego-based. So the different parts and elements that are coming out of the River Talks are that we're developing stronger relationships in this community. So we're starting to work really closely with the local board, Tamaki Maungakeka lo local board, uh, Auckland Council, Healthy Waters, uh, Water Care is starting to come into our conversation and, and partnership, potential partnership. A major uh, agency here in Glen Innes and Pamura is Tamaki Regeneration Company uh, that represents government and council together and they are responsible for many of the assets in Pamura and GI and so we're starting to work in partnership and to, to look at what's possible. Uh, schools, obviously, we work closely with schools and young people to, to work in dialogue to create spaces so that they can have a voice and create their own pathways. Uh, we work with different social service providers uh, so we can work laterally in terms of some of the needs that are here. Uh, housing New Zealand, uh, because you know the houses affect the water. Uh, Auckland Transport has come into the picture. Many different arts practitioners around New Zealand have come into the River Talks project. Uh, from dancers to poets to sculptors to painters, MCs, slam poetry. Uh, we're working with mana whenua who are very supportive, Ngāti Whātua, Ngāti Pāua, Ngāi Taiki Tāmaki Wai Ohua. Mana whenua are a real major component of this work for us. Uh, and we've got a local farmer around here who's, who's been very interested in our work because his farm is just over there. Um, and families. You know, residents of the, of the neighbourhood, really open hearts and willing hands to come and support our work, from cleaning up to setting up to, to being there for the karanga, uh, cooking meals and just helping out where they can. You know, so it's a very broad network of partnership that we have.